concentrating on Santa, not your children. And number two, we ask for no snacks in Santa Land, please. Anything that's in a sippy cup or non-spillable is fine. Your coffees are good. And the third and the most important thing is these red ropes and this reindeer and those red ropes, they block off our stage area. And any grown-up who goes to the other side, guess what? You become part of the show and you get to sing a Christmas song for everyone here. So please stay on this side of the ropes. Yeah, is everyone ready? Who here is really good at throwing snowballs? Let's see some hands. Oh, I got a big team this time. Well, the reason I'm asking you this is Santa loves to throw snowballs and he's challenged us to a snowball fight. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a big pile of snowballs, okay? So let's do that. Okay, everybody, pack them up. Make your snowballs really big, really tight. Pack them up. Wow, it's big wonderful. Look at the big packs you have. We're gonna be so ready for Santa. Now I'm gonna count to three. We're all gonna call for Santa. And when he ready? comes out of that house, we are going to throw our snowballs at it, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Santa! Oh, I don't hear anything. Do you hear anything? You know, let's try that again, but let's do it much louder. Here we go. One. Yours, your, 
we got a hat. What else do we need? For a nose? We got a nose and a hat. What else do we need? Oh, big smiley nose. We got a smiley nose with a hat and a nose. And what else? Oh, hang on right here. Oh, we've got eyes. Hang on a second. We got some eyes. So we have a hat, eyes, nose, mouth.
basically done. Oh, what's that, Frosty? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, Frosty. Frosty told, told me right now we needed some green. I'm going to have you stand up. You and you, if you like, guys. Right here, turn around. We'll get over here beside each other. Okay, we're going to bring them. You want to stand up, too, or are you going to? Right here, we're going to. And we got some green light for you guys. Have a seat, guys. Have a seat. Let's count the three and throw it at the tree. Are you guys ready? And one, two, three. And we have some green lights on the tree. Let's get done. You guys are good. Oh, what's that, Frosty? Uh-huh. Okay, I'll go over this way. Frosty told me to ask you and you. Fireplace, bang, crash, and tumble. Pop, merry old Nick, 
Argentina y Pedro John. Mouse is delighted. His wish had come true. But what now? He wondered. Hmm, what more could he do? As Nick stuffed the stockings, which started to sag, Mouse tiptoe toed near for a peek in his bag. Soon Santa was done. Time to hurry away. I snatched up my sack and sprang up to my sleigh. With a swoosh and a swish, Mouse was bundled inside. But down in the dark, this is no place to ride. It's stuffy, it's crowded, Mouse started to shout. And he squeezed, wiggled, and scrambled to find his way out. He soon spied a place to poke his head free. And beheld all around him sight splendid to see. He was high above earth in a winter night sky, streaking past stars in a sleigh that could fly. Mouse loved this new field, and when he looked down, far distant below shone the lights of his town. Onto rooftops, down chimneys, old Santa did race. Mouse marveled the reindeer could keep up the pace. They soared past high mountains, skimmed low near a river. The twist dips and turns set his tummy a quiver. Over bridges and castles and towers they flew. The rooftops of London gave Mouse a great view. Brilliant sights waited in each foreign land. In Holland, the windmills by moonlight were grand. Mouse had never imagined world so wide. He lost count of the wonders he'd seen on this ride. Crossing cities and countries, over desert and sea, past the snakes and two towers, and Miss Liberty. At the end of the night, at the very last house, Santa beat in his sack. Oh, what's that? A young mouse. Mouse was so stark, he feared he'd just squeak. But in Santa's kind gaze, he found he could speak. Oh, Santa, I'm sorry for sneaking this ride, but your bag was so tempting, I climbed right inside. <laughs> Santa just jumped. Little friend, don't you worry. Hop on my hat. I'll have you home in a hurry. Mouse clung to the fringe. The wind chilled his face. The rocket like sled shoes and hurtled through space. At home, safe and sound, there were presents for all. The one mouse liked best was the hat, mark size small. Then Santa knelt down till his beard touched the floor, and the two friends waved goodbye through the little front door. It was so late at night, mouse was ready for bed, but he wanted to try his new hat on his head. It was just the right size, not too big, not too small. A hat just like Santa's, Mouse felt proud and tall. Mouse snuggled down, letting dreams fill his eyes, hearing words meant for him from a voice deep and wise. If you do all the things that a good mouse should do, don't be surprised when your wishes come to you. Merry Christmas, dear Mouse. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> Did you like that story, kids?